In this tiny room in Midtown Manhattan, it's all work and some play. Nathaniel Johnson and Sean Hargrow are rising seniors at Yale University and co-founders of a new social networking platform called Series. You might be thinking students at a prestigious college launching a social network. That sounds familiar. That looks good. That looks really good. It's clean and simple. The site's live. But the co-founders are quick to point out this is not like Facebook. Series is an AI social network that uses AI friends to operate via iMessage to help you connect with the right people at the right time. And we essentially are building what we call the first AI social network. In other words, instead of just putting up content and hoping someone takes notice, users are guaranteed a connection through an AI-powered assistant. So it's kind of like an AI matchmaker for networking. Almost. I mean, a even cooler way to look at it, right, is that's why we call it AI friends. They seem to essentially function to help you meet the right people for your wants and needs, just like a friend would in real life. Here's how it works. First, you give your potential AI friend some info about yourself and who you know. That's the key part, because without knowing who you know, we have no idea what your network brings to the table. And after a quick survey, your profile is ready to go. So we're looking at like kind of the temperament, career, academic goals, and then someone's kind of like willingness to help other people here. Exactly. After that, the matchmaking process takes place in iMessage, connecting you with professionals who may also be interested in your expertise. And then how often is it gonna be reaching out to you? Well, that can be really based on however much matchmaking you need, right? Remember, it's not really about knowing who you want to meet or who you need to meet. It's the AI friend's job to find someone who's going to be a catalyst to whatever that is. with a real person in real life. Real person in real life. Which is where the concept for their social network came about. We we're both a part of the Yale Entrepreneurial Society, and we ran a podcast called The Founder Series. This was interviewing Yale founders and CEOs, and we were able to talk to some of these guests, ask about how they kind of developed their businesses, and essentially how they were able to attribute their success. We knew that just talking to founders wasn't enough, right? Now that we have the secrets on what it takes to be a successful Yaley, why don't we give it a go? Two years later, they have over 10,000 active student users and enough money to bring their vision to life. We were able to raise $3.1 million for our pre-seed round for series. But beyond the money, the pair hopes their platform removes barriers and bias in the networking space for others. There were times where doors were actually literally closed on us. We haven't yet had someone have the right access to break that stereotype by leveling that playing field. What I think we're proud of most is that we realized there was a need to allow that access to be equitable. We thank you for watching. And remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.